how to look after your cubicle space station. Obviously, do not follow the instructions, because it ends in destructions. Hello guys, I'm Orbita, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Bigger Kerbal Cubicle Space Station. Part 2. Okay, if you wonder what this is all about, in the last, uh, well, the last episode, I'm going off my Kerbal Quest series. No, in the last video I done on this, we built a cubicle space station, and I was just curious to see if it would stand up to the test of time, or, well, building it, because normally anything big I build gets destroyed or eaten by the Kraken, as you probably watched and seen in my Kerbal Quest videos. Or even one of my live streams when I tried to build the Hermes and that exploded. So that's where I decided to try to find out. I knew, you know, I know it's possible now, because what I was concerned with was the fact that you may not be able to dock multiple docking ports together. I knew from experience that you could dock two docking ports together, but can you do three? And as I've shown by here, you can do almost four, but sometimes one of the docking ports don't align up properly, so you have to check them all. That's what I'm doing here. And by the way, I hyper edited this craft in, and you can see we've missed one. One has not lined up properly and not docked correctly. This is probably due to my skill of docking, because you have to be really precise with this. What I would normally do is line up one dock. Oh, there you go, that's done it. I'd normally line up one docking port, check, get close, make sure the crafts are almost virtually lined up, then use control from another docking port and set the at docking port I was going to dock to to check to see if that was aligned and then hopefully that means that all of them would be aligned when we were docking however as I'll show you further on in the videos it's not as easy as that anyway let's deorbit these probes because they're awesome in what we can do with them you know we could keep them up for docking other things but that's not what we want them for and then after we've deorbit them what we'll do is hyper edit another one in, like here. We'll attach it to the bottom this time, yes. At some point, I think I used mech jeb to try to dock it, but the problem with mech jeb is you need it to be precisely lined up. You need all the four docking ports lined up. I suppose what I could have done was use mech jeb and rotate the craft myself. I've only just thought of that now. But I would normally use force roll on this, and if the docking port was aligned in such a way, that it needed to roll, sorry, 180 degrees, then I would have to quickly change that until it was the correct angle for the force roll. And the problem with that is it's not hard, it's just a lot more time consuming. What you're seeing by here, in fact, I think the entire video is four times speed. I think at the moment, the last cubicle part we added was about 12 frames per second. At least that's what my recording software showed me. And I think this one came down to about 8 frames per second. It drops down to 4 frames per second on the last one we had. So yes, be glad that I added this at 4 times. And you can see by there, one of the docking ports on the station itself, not the ones I'm trying to dock, hasn't docked properly. And it, you know, it's... It's extended the radi- the rate um, the radius. No, they're trying to get my words right. I'm not doing it properly. No, it's extended the length of the station part it should dock to, which means that the docking port won't dock properly. I don't know how to fix that. What I found out though was to undock it, redock it again, and do a quick video jump here because otherwise we'd be waiting for ages. And it's just basically me at the moment showing you how to dock all this together and see what the result was. Okay, we've still got one docking port to a real lineup, so let's shimmy shammy it all up a bit. Come on, can we dock this? You can see that docking port at the top is, of course, in the problem because it's extended the length and I can't dock to it. So I tried to do quick save, quick load, and his dog, that is bloody awesome. I think we found a way around the problem. Yay, cool stuff. We may be able to do more with this. If it wasn't so slow, yes. I I was having an hearing, but should I continue with this video? Shall I, you know, just abandon it here? And whoops, yes, I wasn't meant to stage that. What I was meant to do, because for some reason, when you stage that, it goes to state next stage. And I haven't engaged the rockets on these because I hyper edited the craft in. So you have to add an extra stage, 
Stage to engage the engine and burn. Oh, <laughs> that's more debris you have to delete from the save. Thank God that you allowed to delete it in the VAB. Actually, that'll be the uh, tracking station where you can delete parts. However, you can do it in HyperEdit as well, which I have used before to delete vessels. And you have to be careful because it's just a one click. You don't get, are you sure? And you say delete. Yes, you click on the vessel you want to delete and you delete it. And you realize you've deleted the wrong one. I've done that before and didn't quick save or quick, you know, so I couldn't quick load. Anyway, here we go. Another problem. Oh, no. Okay, so it's dark. Yeah, this was much more simpler. Here we are trying to dock another one. However, you can see that the length of the space station is slightly out. Oh no, wait, this is when I had the angle off. I tried to use the autopilot. It kept on turning it the wrong way and I had to take manual control of it. The best thing to do, I find, was if you know the angle you want, use the automatic docking pilot. I'll line it for you. You'll come in slowly, then take manual control to do any fine maneuvers that you need to anyway this is the result in space station this is when i had about four frames per second this is four times speed which i'm now rotating and controlling this i'm finding oh balls i'm not going to carry on with this so i decided to use the extended vab mod and build this get some awesome epic music this is the docking music actually in fact from elite Elite game, or was it called? Yeah, Elite Frontier 2. This was the docking music that you would have when you're docking. And I decided to slam that ship right into it. See what damage we can do to it. Because <laughs> the Kraken did not take any note of this. And I was quite surprised because there's a load of fuel tanks there clipped into each other. A load of docking ports that could cause some problems. I know, yeah. That thing freezes before the explosions happen. <laughs> oh man, this is mad. <laughs> the distraction that you can have is awesome with this. It's a shame that you can't build this any bigger because I was thinking of doing sort of like a boar cube ship. I don't know if any of you know that the uh, Kerbal Space, no, Star Trek where you've got the Borg cube. I was hoping to build this up, make it huge, and it, oh my god, that had a ticky fit. Ugh. <laughs> you gotta love the way the physics work that works on KSP. Anyway, let's absorb the damage. That is cool. Anyway, if you like this video, crank that like button like an engineer. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. Or perhaps, if you want, you could leave a comment below. <laughs> Just a suggestion. I'm Orbeta. Trust me. I'm an engineer of cubicle things.